I need to talk to you about the Skripal poisonings because there was so much disinformation. I mean, the, over the last few years, it's been insane, hasn't it? I mean, there was so much disinformation with regards to the Skripal poisonings that came out. There was a wish to judgment, obviously, that it was Russia. They, they even used the Russia sounding. Uh, Novichok, this is obviously something that they said could only be manufactured in Shikai in Russia and it turns out no, it, uh, you could buy the recipe on a book that is on Amazon yeah. and you know if you if you are a state actor and you've got this you could pretty much do it, you can make it out of household items. How interesting is it, I don't want to go into the, the intricacies of that, I mean we've probably done it both to death, right. the, the, yeah. the, you know the, the, the ins and outs of that story, but how interesting is it that there was a government D notice on Pablo Miller and all this business intelligence pretty much immediately after the poisonings of uh, Sergei Skripal. Um, now, and bearing in mind that the previously when the PP dossier came out and it was published in Bu BuzzFeed, the first thing the UK government did was put a D notice on uh, Christopher Steele's name. Christopher Steele worked, well, all his business intelligence was his company, wasn't it? And Pablo Miller and him were the handler and recruiter of Christopher Steele, of, of sorry, um, Sergei Skripal. Weren't they also involved in the Litvinko? Uh, with Litvinko? Uh, yeah, yeah. I yeah. didn't know about yeah, that. Yeah, Christopher either. Steele was involved in that. I didn't know that, but also, um, you know, that. The Orbis Business Intelligence was paid by Fusion GPS to get the dirt on the dossier for Hillary Clinton. That's Hillary Clinton's super PAC, isn't it? How interesting is it all of that happened, yet our old media don't talk about any of that? And how interesting is it they don't obviously talk about the fact that there was um, the, the largest ever chemical weapons drill was just down the road at Salisbury that finished on the very day that Sergei Skripal allegedly got poisoned. How interesting is it that they didn't make a big deal about the first person on the scene was the army nurse. No, no, not an, an army nurse. The army nurse with a history of, with, who's got medals from the Queen who, with a history of treating, you know, contagious diseases. Uh, I mean, this is the equivalent of, I, I said it, it's the equivalent of uh, an out outbreak of the Mataba virus happening in Ohio, and the first people to find the, the patient patients one or patient zero would be the, the cast of the movie outbreak. <laughs> right, <you know>? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is just all nonsense, isn't it? I mean, and it's all not just is it nonsense, but this is all connected in some way to this ridiculous you know, Russia guy conspiracy that they concocted, isn't it? Yes, and you know, what's interesting is that, you know, I mentioned the Litvinenko uh, uh, death, and that is one of the things that I found astounding about when I started looking into these things, the Steele dossier and Pablo Miller and Scripple, is that the same names come up over and over and over, and the media does not Connected intentionally, of course. No, in I mean, fact, they disconnect it. In fact, if you start to connect it, they'll call you a crazy conspiracy theory for pointing out the obvious. When you look at that, Christopher Steele, and here's what's interesting. Recently, two two things. It was, I believe, in the New York Times a while back, and you probably remember this. After the uh, the Steele investigation, I mean, the Steele incident, what we found, what what was found was, um, the head of the CIA, Gina Haspel, went to Donald Trump and showed him a picture yeah. of dead ducks and sick children and implied that that was a result of the Skripal poisoning and that affected his kid. That just flat out lied to them, yeah. right? And this entire thing, when we look at it, again, it's another just part of this crazy machine's crazy making where we look at it, we've got the same names that come together over and over. In fact, uh, there was a, 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 within the last few days, did you see the article about Steele where they basically said there was an investigation it's into the, the Steele dossier? The Times, wasn't it? Yes, and they found that basically, it, what, here's the, the funny thing. You lied about it. Yes. <laughs> the, the, uh, the, those of us in the independent media from the very beginning said, well, this is preposterous. It's a pack of lies. As soon as you read it, you need, I didn't have to research it. I'm like, well, this is a pack of lies. <laughs> no. Now, years later, these brilliant investigators have finally figured out what we knew the second we laid eyes on it. The, the, that the, it's a pack of lies. The Times, for three years, have been pushing this conspiracy. They've, they've been pushing the conspiracy with the likes of... Um, Luke Harding. People, people like, well, Luke Harding in the, the, the Guardian. Guardian yeah. And then you got the, the likes of, of Deborah Haynes. I think she was Times defense editor, and now she's at Sky. 
but she was probably the one pushing this this rubbish about stealing. She was named in the as a, as a, as one of the the uh, contacts for an integrity initiative cluster in the UK, right. which they're all over the world. I haven't got time to go into that. No, you know. Um, but I mean, they're constructing their own narratives here. They're constructing their own news. They're constructing their own versions well, of reality. Well, here's something that's horrifying. I mean, if you really think about it, this is can I mean truly be terrifying. We've had two alleged Novichok um, poisonings, right? Mm -hmm. Has anyone ever heard from or seen the alleged victims again? They have been disappeared. This is supposed to be a society where people don't disappear. We're supposed to talk about, remember when the dictator in such and such country, why people would just disappear? The Screeple and his daughter? Uh, the other guy, Charlie Rowley, I believe his name yeah. is? And where's the media saying, my God, these humans, they're gone. Do we know if they're alive? It seems hard to believe. And that today, Gordon Divick, that today, if you got sick, that you would agree with the government and say, I never want to see my yeah. friends, my family, I don't even want to see my fiance, my I don't want to see anybody again, just hide me away somewhere. It seems, it's not conceivable. Yeah, I mean, there's, there's, there's two facts of the case here, and I just want to point, people, point these out to people. And it's something that I really, you know, I want people to really concentrate on. First of all, we haven't seen hide nor hair of Sergei Skripal. After that, we've seen his daughter, his daughter made a statement. We haven't seen Sergei Skripal. And the next thing is nobody, nobody has provided any evidence to say that the poor woman who was killed, um, 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 Dawn Sturgis, the poor before, allegedly by Novichok, I've seen no evidence from anybody to say that was the same Novichok that was used in the incidents that, that in the incident that, that and poisoned allegedly Sergei Skripal. And remember, they happened Almost like a month apart, right. those incidents. Well, let's be honest about this. If we go by empirical data, you know, I was an investigator. I ran an investigations division. I mean, I'm not saying one way or another. We don't know that she's we dead. We don't know that she's alive. We don't. we don't know that they exist. All we know is we have assertions from people who constantly lie about the Scribble case. We have people telling us the, that we have video of people arriving in the UK at 9.30 in the morning, mm -hmm. but at nine o'clock, prior to nine o'clock, they were smearing Novichok on a door. Before they got here, somehow, the Russians are so evil yeah. that they have a time machine that they got here early, smeared some Novichok, somehow got back on the plane and didn't get, so we have a story that on its face makes no sense. A number of assertions and missing people, real people that are missing. Yeah. And we don't know anything about them. In fact, let me add this. That preposterous public relations video about Yulia Skripal is one of the worst things I've ever seen in my life. She's jaunting through the meadow and the forest. She looked like, you know, look, never looked better or healthier than any human being in my life to see her there. And then we never hear from her again. There's no conversation. Exactly. There's a wonderful, wonderful statement she put out. She said, basically, yes, our state tried to kill me and I can't wait to go back there. Well, that was essentially what she said. Let's not forget the Russia that, tried to kill us, and I can't wait to go back there. Let's not forget that um, there is the ability now to create false um, uh, video. Yes. Um, now, there's these deep fakes, right, these deep fakes that. are a they, real problem. Right. So they because can, I've been fooled by them. Right. I've, I've seen something and thought that's... And then gone to report on it, and while I've done some investigation, I've realized it's a fake video. Can you imagine? And they look so real. Can you imagine the ability that the intelligence communities have with unlimited funds, what they can do with fake video? So I'm not they saying could make, They could make phone calls. They could make it out so I or you were making Skype calls oh, yeah. somewhere. And it's not us. I mean, how much material have you got out there on the IOIs that's been recorded of your voice, of your mannerisms, of the way you act? I mean, I've only been going, what, 18 months or two years or whatever it is, and I've put thousands right. of hours. You, mean, you must be in the hundreds of thousands or tens of thousands of hours. It's very, I mean, it's not easy, but it's very um, foreseeable that the intelligence communities with all their technology could create a digital you or a digital me or a, and nobody would know the difference. Or a digital Yulia Scribble. 
So that's why I say, well, I know we've seen video, and, I, and I'm not one to say, see, I'm not the person to say, I know it was a fake. Yeah, we're not, know, we're not I'm saying this should that I'm the investigator. All I know is what I've seen. We've seen, we've had assertions about the Scripple case. We've seen video that was alleged to be Julia Scripple skipping through the meadow looking like some kind of a Mary Poppins film. And nothing else and no questions are asked the, the, but after the scribble after the Charlie rally after Epstein these huge, these uh, incredibly important stories happen and the media has nothing to say about them and if you ask questions you're a conspiracy theory for theorist for even for even implying that they deserve further investigation I know none of it makes any sense whatsoever <laughs> but what we do know is they're lying, lying to us systematically and over and over again.